Not climbing is kind of a strange feeling because it's been such a big part of my life for the last seven years. And when I couldn't climb, I still thought about climbing every day. I still watched climbing videos and I still made climbing videos. I even started yoga for climbers and of course I put up a hangboard to keep my fingers in shape. But I knew I wasn't the only one adapting to a new normal. So I asked a few different people to share their own experiences. This video is the result. Hi, I'm Jen and I'm from Los Angeles. I've been bouldering for three years and for the last year I've been recording my climbing progress um, on my YouTube. When I couldn't climb, I still had a couple of weeks where I was able to look down at my hands and see little reminders of when I could climb. Every day I would examine the remnants of my last outdoor project in a callus on my right pinky, a gash on the back of my left hand from clumsily scraping my rough indoor gym's walls, and my right middle finger was still ridiculously inflamed from overexertion. Any appreciation for my hands, and my entire body for that matter, has always been tied up in utility, and after I learned that I wouldn't be using my hands to pull on rocks anymore, it was difficult initially for me to regard them with the same level of gratitude. Eventually, I learned to apply them to other hobbies and tasks that I remembered were still important to my sense of identity, which is easy to forget when most people who know who you are only know you as Jen, the climbing YouTuber. During these times, I've started to learn how to decouple my sense of self-worth from my climbing abilities. Taking time to slow down and realize that it was time to reassess the aspects of my relationship with climbing that emphasized performance over the joy of the sport. Moving forward, I think it's important for all of us to set little goals for ourselves independent of grades and what we traditionally define as progress, since it all kind of feels like the world is standing still right now. Hi, I'm Jacob. I live in a little village in the hills of Pembrokeshire in West Wales. I'm mostly boulder, and you can usually find me taking photos while I'm at the crag. When I couldn't climb, I found life a bit weird. Um, I didn't really know what to do when I couldn't climb. Like, I do it so much. But I soon found some things to pass the time. Um, first thing I did was uh, set up a slack line in the garden. That was, that's been good fun. Um, it started off really hard, I'd, I'd not really done it before. Um, but after a while, and all the hours of, of practice, um, it soon got a lot easier. Uh, and I can go backwards and forwards a couple of times now, which is pretty cool. I've also, like most of us, hung from my hangboard uh, to try and keep that strength in my fingers up. Hopefully, it'll pay off uh, and we can get back into climbing straight afterwards. Um, and uh, one of the best things, made a few batches of brownies. Uh, life's always good when you have brownies in your hand. You can't be unhappy when you're eating a good chocolate brownie. I have missed my friends a bit though. All those things are pretty good, but for me, climbing's mostly about friends. Um, and I have missed them a bunch. Um, I really like the, the laughs and the silliness you get when climbing and, and all. That, that's what I really like about uh, the whole thing. Um, we've got a lot to look forward to though. Can't wait. All those adventures are going to be built up in one block and we're all going to have a load of fun. And it's been sunny, which is cool. Can't complain about the sun. Hey, I'm Athena and I have been climbing for about two years now. I kind of do a mixture of everything. So I do bouldering, sport climbing, track climbing, and I've done a little bit of alpine climbing as well. When I couldn't climb in lockdown, I realised how much I missed just lying outside in the sun on a bouldering pad at a crag with friends, not even climbing all the time, but just being out in nature in these really beautiful places and being able to feel strong and send my projects, which I was so excited to do this spring, but yeah. It'll come. Um, something else that I've been doing is I finally started doing yoga, which is something that I've always wanted to do for climbing. And now I've had time to actually start. 
so I feel like that is definitely helping my flexibility and also keeping me strong, especially in my legs. Um, and I think it's helping with controlling my mind and my breathing, which I hope will help with trad climbing and fear and alpine climbing as well. So I'm still a climber even though I can't climb. Hi, I'm Brett. I'm one half of the Climbing Nomads YouTube channel and I'm a mountaineering and climbing instructor. When I couldn't climb, I realised how much of my life is climbing. Climbing is at the very centre of my identity, from my work, recreation, holidays, friendships and lifestyle. It defines nearly every aspect of my life. Not being able to climb has really forced me to question who I am without climbing. The more I try and imagine my life without climbing, and the many possibilities that would offer, the more I realise I am a climber. It is who I am. And whilst I could live without climbing, and find other ways of defining who I am, I just don't want to. I love my life as a climber. The adventures, the friendships, the highs and lows, the excitements and the fears. Climbing has connected me with the most wonderful people and continually teaches me new lessons. There are always gaps in our climbing, and that's what this lockdown is to me, a gap. A period of time to reflect on what's important. So whenever the time comes to get back to climbing, I'll be there. I'm Sophie, I'm one half of the Climbing Nomads YouTube channel. Climbing is a huge focus for us in our lives and pretty much everything we do revolves around climbing. This isn't the first extended break I've had from climbing, there have been a couple of periods where I couldn't climb due to rehabbing my shoulder from dislocation and then subsequent surgery, and each time the focus was on getting back to being strong enough for climbing, but I wanted to come back even stronger than before the injury. So climbing is my focus and motivator to keep training and keep fit, to come out of lockdown even stronger than before. So I guess for me, not climbing has taught me that you can still do a lot of training and preparation for climbing, and it's been my source of motivation and drive to keep training throughout the non-climbing times. Listening to my friends talk about not climbing was definitely reassuring for me. I think there's a lot to be said for finding community and sharing your experiences. I'd love to hear what not climbing is or was like for you, so leave a comment with your thoughts. Thanks to Jen, Jacob, Athena and The Nomads for collaborating on this video. They are all amazing creators and I highly recommend taking a look at their feeds if you don't already know them.